Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Niche, a genetic survival game. A big thank you to all of you who have been sending me pictures of Kolara over the past few weeks. As some of you probably know, Kolara was one of my favorite critters on this island, and I loved the story that bloomed around her family. So it's really nice that we have them kind of immortalized in this way, so we can go back and look at these pictures and remember all of the creatures who used to call this island their home. Now, things are definitely a little bit jumbled up since the last episode, because unfortunately the footage that I recorded previously got corrupted, so all of these little critters are probably looking pretty new to you guys, and I'm going to try my best to recap everything that happened. Basically, there was a lot of exploring and expanding. We're kind of trying this new strategy of taking our explorers and moving them out onto the um, shoreline so that they can kind of loop around and see if we can find any more nests, just like Meme and Dukirku managed to do way over here. They found this nest like literally on the cliffside right in front of the water. So I thought what we would do is just trace the entire perimeter of the island and see if we can get lucky. But we did pair off some of the youngest generation of the pack just to kind of try to keep our lines alive at this point. I'm trying not to overpopulate the island just in case we can manage to get some new blood in here, but it is very important to me that we at least keep our current families alive. So Meme and Dukirku, of course, had a little baby of their own after they found this nest down here, and her name is Izyla. She is carrying on the legacy of her parents with those giant fennec fox ears, and she also has beautiful blue eyes too, which I thought was a very nice combination, just like her father, in fact. And then Anna Isri and Kernuta had a little baby too, a little daughter named Miana. And she has the same claw as her mother too, which I thought was also very, very adorable. She has um, poison fangs in her recessive slot as well, and she has the big body. Actually, a lot of these creatures seem to have the big body right now, which I think is kind of a good thing because it does definitely help their strength. So we should have some pretty strong explorers to look after as well. Then Sairi and Neuroduke actually had a baby too, and it's this one right here who looks almost exactly like her mother. They even have the berry paws in the same locations. Her name is Isra. And then Rovan and Mianami had some children, so let me see if I can pick them out here. It was um, Terovan, which I believe is the green-eyed boy, with, um, of course, those beautiful fangs. Terovan, and I think we've had that name before, too. I want to say Terovan was the name of one of the long-lost Spit Snout characters that we had, so that's pretty cool. And then they also had Rasiko, which must be this little girl. There she is, Rasiko. She has a big body as well and a claw, so she is a very, very strong individual, too. And then Rovan had one son with Rico. I believe her name was. Yes, Rico, who is like the leopard spotted character over here. They had one son named Kukira Duke, and I'm pretty sure we had that name too. So they're like using a lot of um, names that we had previously, kind of remembering all of the ancestors in the pack. Um, even Kuvan, who was born in the last episode technically, is um, one of those creatures who was named after someone else in the pack. The last few major things that happened was, um, well, we kind of explored the grass in this area. There was actually a carnivore looming over here by the berry bushes that we had to take care of. Um, little Coco managed to take care of them all on her own. She did get a little bit damaged, but she managed to take him down, so that was good. And of course, Sira ended up passing away. So this area is completely dark now, where her little bunny burrow is um, resting right now. And once we kind of flesh out our numbers a little bit more, we'll bring her line back up there to take care of that. Um, we are going to have to figure out who's going to take care of this bunny burrow as well, because Anakosi was one of Lame's children, so we want to kind of just keep it in the line, because I do enjoy um, that our bunny duty members are all of the same family. But yeah, what I wanted to do was possibly breed some really, really fast babies that could just like zip around the outskirts of this island and hopefully find some interesting things along the way because I have noticed that we're finding a lot of berry bushes down by the shore. We're finding nests now right next to um, the water so I think we're going to try to do that soon too. Um, right now we do just have some berry bushes to a pick it looks like so we'll have Coco grab those with her double berry paws. Um, I do also want to make sure that the double berry paws are staying in our lines because they are so helpful in the swamps. Luckily, Kukira Duke seems to have them. Um, I will move him a little bit closer, I think, so he'll be able to pick up uh, where they leave off when they end up passing away. But most of these guys are out of energy at the moment. It looks like Miana could possibly help her um, mother and her aunt by picking just one of those berries. But other than that, I think we're going to have to skip the turn. So let's see. Let's see. Is anyone going to pass away? Um, oh my goodness! 
Oh my goodness, you down here, Rila, poor little Rila. We sent her out here so that she could possibly find something in all of this grass because we have this weird little bit that kind of sticks out on the island. So I thought maybe there'd be something down here, but for the most part, it was just bunnies. And now suddenly this carnivore jumps out at us. So let's just make sure, um, yeah, there's a little bunny right here that we can grab before we attack that carnivore. So we'll pick that up. And then let's just make sure that no bunnies are stealing all of our berries because we still have some to pick after that rainfall. Um, it looks like there's something right here. I think it's a bunny though, because look at that. This is already empty. So I think that's just a bunny. Um, we'll go ahead and grab these. Yep, that was in fact a bunny, but we can grab this guy instead. And I guess I'll pick up his meat right now too. Um, oh my goodness, they're just chomping away so fast at these uh, bushes, which is a little bit unfortunate, but we will grab as many pieces of food as we possibly can before they eat them all. And um, Coco, oh my goodness, look how uh, short her range is. She has a very, very short range despite those big berry paws. Um, I guess I could move her right here so she could pick the rest of these. And um, that might be one of her last turns too, so we'll have to keep an eye on her. Now, Dukirku, you should probably come up here and guard your own berry bush. There we go. That helped a little bit. And um, is Isla, who I absolutely adore. You, miss, um, maybe we should bring you somewhere special too. She has quite a uh, high attack strength, so we want her to be in the area just in case something happens. Once she gets a little bit older, she'll be able to uh, defend her pack very, very well. And Kernuta, you can grab up your berry bush too. So there we go. That should help us out. Um, we do need to take care of this carnivore now. We have plenty of turns to do so. So the carnivore, let's see, Rila, how much damage can you take off of this guy? Hit points, rather. Not too bad. I mean, that's over half of his health gone. So let's see, Sairi, could you get down in time? Possibly, she might be able to. Um, Rico and Rovan, I don't think Rovan can actually get there in time, unfortunately. Um, he has a pretty high speed himself, but I don't think he would get there in time. So Sairi, let's see. Um, oh no, she's just too short. She's just just barely too short. So Sairi, um, we could place her right there, I suppose. I think I'm going to actually leave her right here though, just in case, because I don't want the carnivore attacking Sairi since she's a little bit older than, um, than Rila is. Kuvan, unfortunately, despite his poison fangs, has a very, very low strength stat, so he wouldn't really help us very much. I think instead we're just going to pick these berries with him. I think um, that's going to be our best bet at the moment. And uh, Rico, you can grab up these berries all in one swoop, in fact, because you have those double berry paws, so she can just completely pick this clean after um, the rainfall, which is pretty neat. So I guess we're going to start moving our little explorers along now. It seems like that would be a good idea. Um, Neuroduke, oh, Neuroduke, you are definitely passing away in the next turn too. Um, Kolako, let's see. We can play a leapfrog with these guys if we uh, time it right. Oh, and there's a little bunny though. Well, I have to get the bunny. I have to get him because he's right there. So Kolako can come this way. Um, unfortunately, she was out of turns though. So I, I guess they'll just sit there. I guess we'll just have to end them right there. Um, and then Meme, let's see, how are you doing? You have a bit left of your uh, lifespan, which is good to see. She has a little bit left, but oh no, her sister. Oh, Anna Isri. Oh my goodness, you have lived such a long, productive life too, because of course she saved her father from a carnivore off um, in this area of the island, I believe, off to the right. And um, she, she now has this little baby to just carry on her legacy too. So at least she had one baby. At least we're carrying on their line. Um, Meme, I think I might want to breed her one more time with Dukirku. Um, I think we will do that. I do have the big ears in our mutation menu so that we can hopefully keep that in their line. And of course the black eyes are still here as well because we're trying our best to mutate those eyes just so we can have um, a little bit more diversity in our genetics. So we'll bring her right there so she'll be able to breed with him in the next turn. Though I believe, let's see, well we have these two over here. These two can do a little bit more exploring. Um, let's see, if we have Mianime Peak in this grass, um, it looks like Rovan can kind of scoot this way, and oh my goodness, look at that, there's another bunny burrow. For some reason, a lot of our resources seem to be spawning right on the edge of our island. That is quite interesting. So we're going to keep that in mind. We have another bunny burrow, which is a little bit more accessible than the one up in the north, I think, because it's closer to the main area of the pack. So I think we might have to sit somebody on there pretty soon. Now let's see, Mianami, you can come up this way at least, and we're kind of like connecting these spots with little pathways 
of our own. Um, Rovan can look in here and then it's completely connected. So there we go. We do have a tree in the way. <laughs> that might be a little bit of a, uh, a situation. I kind of didn't notice because it's almost see-through. A little ghosty tree it looks like. But let's see. Is there anyone else who could help us out here? We have to keep an eye on that carnivore too. That's going to be the first priority when um, we pass the turn. Rico, let's see. Um, maybe we could kind of scoot you around somewhere. Let me just make sure that her baby actually passed along the immunity gene. Let's see. Um, yeah, he did. Okay, so he has immunity gene D. That is very, very good to see. Um, the other children do not, it looks like, because we only had um, a few of these pack members who actually had immunity gene D. So we might actually want to bring her over here to breed with him one more time before he gets too old. And then we'll see if we can get one more baby with that immunity gene just to have it in the pack. Um, I think at the moment we have about three or four immunity genes floating around here. So it's good to have, you know, as many as possible so that we can hopefully reduce the um, odds of them getting sick in the future. Anna Isri, for your last few turns, I'm just going to have you pick these berries for us. Oh, poor Anna Isri. She's going to uh, pass away right next to her daughter too, which is kind of sad. But let's see, I think that might be it. I think that's about all we can do, so let's pass the turn, but let's keep a very close eye on these guys right here, because we have to make sure that we can take out the carnivore next. Oh, Rila. Oh, poor Rila. She only has a berry paw, too, but um, let's go ahead and just swipe at him, and there we go. Take him down. Take him right down. So we'll go ahead and pick up the meat from this guy. And then we'll bring Sairi over here <laughs> to find another carnivore. Oh no, this is like carnivore island over here. This is not what I was expecting. Well, Sairi, you have a little bit of a uh, stronger attack than Rila does. So, I mean, oh gosh. Well, they'll have to take him down on the next turn too, unfortunately. Since we can't swim yet, Kuvan can't even like jump over to this area. He would have to go all the way around and I don't think he has enough turns to do that. So go ahead and pick your berries, Kuvan. We have a little bunny scooting around here too. He must have uh, hopped right out of this burrow while I wasn't looking. Now let's see, Rovan, um, we probably want to start playing leapfrog with you guys again. Rico, we should bring back to the nest because it will take her a couple of uh, moves to get there. And there we go. I was watching that bunny because I had a feeling he was gonna get a little bit too close and luckily he did. So Rico, you can sit right there and have your next baby on the next turn. And oh no, Neuroduke. There you go. Neuroduke passed away, but at least he had a little bit of company with Kolako. I'm not sure if they knew each other very well, but they were exploring toward the end of their lives together. So they had a little bit of uh, interaction, I guess. We'll peek at this berry bush <laughs> and scare the bunnies in the process. And let's see. If we peek in here, then hopefully we can start looping around this way so we can go along the edges of the swamp and into the grasslands. And we'll see if we can find any more resources on the very edge of our territory here. For some reason, that's where it's all spawning right now. Don't ask me why, because I have no idea. Now, Duke Hiraku, we wanted you to have one more baby with Meme. So let's see, will she be able to move? Yeah, she will. So we'll breed with her turn, and then we'll move her right into the nest with her last couple of goes. And oh, her sister, her poor sister, Anna Isri. Miana, you're going to have to take up picking these berries, I suppose. And um, at least she has Isaila with her. I guess they're um, cousins, technically. So they both have company as well. I did spend a couple of good hours the other day putting together an official family tree for Animemes Island. And I will leave that in the description below. So if you would like to go take a look and see how all of these guys are related, then you'll be able to do just that. Um, let's see, Dukirku, I'm starting to think that we should send you off to explore too. So what I'll do is I'll bring you right here and then you can start making a path this way. Then after Meme has her baby, she'll play leapfrog with him too and they'll just keep going along the edge of this island. It's going to take a while to clear out all the grass. It is a lot faster um, to explore once the grass is clear because they can only move one tile at a time in the uh, in the grass that hasn't been cleared out yet. So it's going to take a little while to do that, but it will be worth it, I think, because hopefully we'll be able to find something good. Now, Kernuta, let's see, where can we move you? I think you should probably stay right there. Um, and we need to keep an eye on these bunnies because they are really looking at our berries right now. Um, we almost have 80 pieces of food, though, so we're not really doing too bad. Um, it seems like there's a lot of bunnies hopping over here still. Um, I think that's good. We're kind of running low on critters with the berry paws up in the swamps, though, so I want to keep an eye on that. 
Um, Kiridu can come up here and help out because he's almost fully grown, so he should be able to help out pretty soon. And he can at least scoop up those berries even though he's not um, completely grown just yet. Now is Isla, why don't you peek in this grass? So we're sure that no carnivores are going to be popping out at us just like this guy over here. Um, and I think that might be good. Oh, Rovan, you have a couple of turns. I don't want to forget about you. Let's see. Let's um, let's have you move up here and take a peek in this grass. And unfortunately, he is also one of those who is going to be passing away very soon. Mianami and Rovan don't have much longer to live, but I do like that they kind of are sticking together. So they probably will be passing away together. Um, let's see. Now, I guess we're gonna have to watch this guy again. Watch this carnivore as he unfortunately probably slices into Sairi. I can't imagine that. Oh, okay, that he would just completely ignore us. <laughs> this poor guy. He's like gazing off into the distance longingly, hoping that he can swim over to these islands someday, which I am also hoping for maybe in the um, October update that should be coming around pretty soon because October is almost done, actually. I am, you know, slightly worried about that because of course the last time we had an update, we ended up losing our save files. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, but wait a second, I need to look at this baby. It's very, very awkward because we're on this cliffside, so the camera does not want to cooperate. But look at you, Salako, you have the toxic body and there are those eyes again, guys. So that's exactly what those eyes are from, I guess, the toxic body. We have a blue-eyed toxic body baby, which is actually kind of adorable. She has those little frog eyes on her. She has a foreign strength. Her speed is pretty darn good. So overall, she is a very, very good little critter. I don't think she'll be doing much uh, gathering because she only has one in collecting, but she'll be able to keep our pack very safe in the future. But yeah, the October update, guys. I am a little bit worried that we might end up losing this island again if it invalidates our save files, but if it doesn't, and if there's enough uh, new things that we need to explore, then I wouldn't mind starting a brand new island alongside this one to uh, possibly really dive into those new options. So if you have any ideas for possible names for uh, new islands that we could explore, then feel free to start letting me know because I have a feeling it's probably going to be coming up pretty soon. Now let's see, let's have Kolako start moving off um, this way, I think. Oh, there's a rock there. Well, that's not very helpful. We might as well look at that though, since uh, if we don't look at it, then we might get tricked by it in the future. Rovan could possibly scoot over there though to help her out. Um, oh gosh, no, apparently he can't. Um, that's okay though. It seems like the more grass we clear out, the easier it is for these guys to get around. So I do kind of want to go back to clearing out the grass. I have heard supposedly that um, it doesn't really matter if you clear out the grass. It seems like it's the dark areas where all of these creatures spawn. The carnivores, the um, new new blood in the pack, the wandering creatures who might join your pack. So I think we're going to try to clear out as much as we can just to make it easier for us to get around faster, especially if we're going to be breeding some uh, really fast babies. In fact, what I might do is put the lean body in here instead, and then we'll see if we can get some lean bodies in the pack because we've never had that before, and that would raise the speed by two. It would make them a little bit weaker because of course it doesn't bring up their uh, strength by any points at all, but it's something to uh, think about so that we can really scoot around this place and hello little bunny, we are going to snack on you next. There we go. So Kernut is doing his job collecting food for us at least. And then these guys down here, we really need to uh, take care of this poor carnivore who really does not want to be on this island it seems, so we can help you out there. There we go collect all of that carnivore meat, and then Rila, you can continue your search. Um, oh my gosh, there's only like this tiny little bit left, and I don't think there's gonna be anything there, guys. I would be really surprised if there's something there, but we will check it out. So let's go ahead and pick these berries with Kuvan. That would be good, and let's see. Um, Meme, we were going to bring you up here to help out your mate. Um, she has a bit of a slow speed, so it's a little bit hard for her to get around, but now that they're in position here, it should be a little bit easier. Um, we'll peek at this grass right there. There we go. So they should be able to leapfrog as long as they stay alive. Yeah, they'll stay alive. They have plenty of life left to live, so they'll be okay. And we'll gather up these berries too. Now let's see, anyone else? Um, Rico, you have some moves left, so where can we bring you? I suppose we could take a look at some of these like random patches of grass that are sitting in our territory because those are probably going to bug me. Oh my gosh, and this one even has one of those cactus plants in it too. So yeah, we'll try to clear out those areas so that this um, entire little camp is completely free of grass. And I think that might be it because I want to stick um, this guy right near these berry bushes so I don't want him to move too far. I think I'll plop him 
right there. Um, we really need some more berry paws to sit at all of these bushes though. So that's something that I'm going to have to make sure we um, accomplish. These guys are almost fully grown. Isra and, um, oh, and Cece, did we not look at this baby? Oh my goodness, I don't think we looked at this baby. Cece, that's another one that they've named after one of their ancestors. That is adorable. I absolutely love how they do that. Um, it looks like we're gonna have to keep an eye on the blind eyes again, but if we end up with a blind baby, then they will be our bunny duty expert. So at least uh, there's that. We know that they won't have a um, hard life in our pack because we do love our blind critters, even though they have a little bit of a disadvantage we do love them so Israel let's scoot you on up here so you can help out your uh, family members in the future and I think that's about it I think that's it for this turn um Isaila oh gosh where are we going to scoot you that is the question she's almost fully grown too so she could possibly help out her parents she could help out her parents over here and maybe they could all just kind of like hop around. We do need to keep an eye on this baby too, Salako. We'll probably bring Salako up here to uh, sit with her cousin, Miana. But let's go ahead and skip the turn for now and see what is at the very end of this little bar of land. I mean, I really feel like it's going to be nothing at this point, but I do just need to go ahead and see what it is. And oh my goodness, all of these deaths out here, all of these different deaths. Oh my goodness, that is terrible. All of these skeletons just littering the ground at this point. Oh, Terovan. Terovan, I think that was actually Mianami and Rovan, wasn't it? And they died right next to each other. Oh gosh, well, you can't get much more poetic than that, can you? So let's see. Oh, there's a little bunny over here. So we have to grab this guy first. There we go. That'll help us out with the food. And now finally, we will see what's at the end of this land. A nest! No way! Oh my gosh, that is amazing. You have to be kidding me right now. There's actually a nest at like literally the farthest reach of our island. Like I swear, they are definitely spawning a lot of resources on the very edge of our islands. So that is what we are going to be doing now. We are going to start exploring all of these little corners and crevices and see if we can find anything worthwhile because obviously it is paying off. So Rila, thank you. You have managed to find us yet another one of these nests. We will look at that. We'll clear out the area and then hopefully we'll be able to use it for one of our little families in the future. Oh, that is excellent. I was really starting to get worried that we were completely out of nests but that is not the case so there we go guys in the next episode we'll have to see if we can breed some speedy little critters to help us out but for now thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye guys